Hi, my name is Daniel and in this video I'll present you how to correctly define machine setup for the multi-channel built-in machines. In this example I'm going to use the Morisiki NTX2000 with upper turret, lower rotary turret together with the main and back spindle. The example will be done on the part that already has defined the Mac 1 position 1, our stock and the target itself. To define a machine setup you have to go to the cam tree operation folder, do a right click machine setup and the, you can add it on the beginning or on the end of the operation tree. Over here I already have my machine setup so I'll just double click on it. The purpose of the machine setup is to correctly define where the part is located in machine environment. For that I will just simply click on the machine preview where we can where the user can dynamically see the results of the definition of the machine setup. As the part can be located on the main spindle and as on the back spindle the shifts should be defined. So let me just give you an example. If I double click over here and I put 100 millimeter, the 100 millimeter will the, the part will be shifted from the face of the chuck. Let me just close the machine preview for a moment, put my Z on zero, and let me define the fixture. So the machine setup allows user as well to define the, the fixtures. And in this example, I already defined my main spindle and back spindle jaws. Let me just go to the edit. And since it's already predefined, I'll just simply click on generate an envelope. The envelope will allow user to more uh, dynamically see where the, the fixture is located while he's defining the uh, cam operations. Now I'll just go edit as, as well on the back spindle. I'll just click on edit. I'll just go to my view and over here what I have um, the user can also dynamically switch between you know different um, diameters or either with a different Z value. So right now I just click on the cylindrical surface over here and click on the Z position on the edge over here. As well for the back spindle as uh, on the main spindle I just click on the generate envelope and I'll click OK. What I'm going to do right now is I will just define where my part is located on the main spindle with a shift from the face of the chuck. My face of the chuck is on the edge of these jaws. So I'll just click on it. I'll click OK. And my value will be automatically read it from what the edge that I actually click it. I'll do the same thing on the back spindle. I'll just I'll click it on the very edge of the for the back spindle and I'll click again OK. I'll go back to machine preview and actually I can see the result what we have defined. <clears throat> As the part can be located on the main spindle or the back spindle, here we can actually define where my machining process will start, either on the main spindle or either on the back spindle. And actually dynamically we can see where the part is located. Okay. Everything what I show you so far, it's known as single home programming, where the user is actually using the Mac 1 also on the main spindle as well as under the back spindle. For the practical reason, there is a need to define a well known as double home programming, where the user will actually use Mac 1 for the main spindle and Mac 2 for the back spindle where the coordinate system will be located on the left side of the part. So let me just show you how to define that. I'll just click simply OK. And uh, in the part I'm just gonna go to the coordinate system manager and I'll just go right click on the Mac and I will add it. I'll change the number of the Mac that I want to define. I'll se se select the definition option of select face as well I'll put it on the center of relation face. 
and I'll just simply click on the largest diameter that I have on the part and I'll use the change opposite feature. Since this machine is Chinook based, I have to rotate my coordinate system in order to follow the same Z axis direction and I'll click OK. I'll accept the default values for my levels and I'll click OK as well. I'll go back to my setup where instead of my Mac, Mac 1 on the back spindle, I'm gonna use Mac 2. As well, together with the Mac 2, the, my fixture position and the shifts are now based on the Mac 2, so therefore I have to change my Z coordinate. So I'll just click on the back on my, my jaws and I'll click OK. The values are changed and I can go back to machine preview. As you can see, coordinate system is well defined and ready to go. For any question, please contact SolidCam support on solidcam.com clicking on the live help button.